<clears throat> What's up guys? Uh, I'm back. It's been a little minute, but as you know, every time I'm going for a while, that means I've been doing something. Well, as you can see behind me, uh, the race car is finally home. Finally my possession. Some of you know the long story, but we're not going to go the long story today. We're just going to go the short story. This is going to be a little bit of story time. And, uh, yeah, you know, give you guys, let you guys check the car out a little bit. Let you know all the little bits and pieces that I got to do. And uh, actually give you guys a, a quick little startup of this thing. It's freaking insane. So, uh, yeah, you know, as you guys saw, I picked it up a couple days ago <clears throat> down in Florida. And, uh, you know, drove home, got it up off the trailer, got it in here and just started checking everything out. You know, I'm very happy that it's home, but uh, there's still a lot of little things that I got to do before, you know, I'm ready to take this out on the street or even take it to the track. I'm very excited to actually finally be, you know, see the track in the near future, you know, with this car. But, uh, you know, enough of me talking. Let's, you know, check it out and see what's happening. So, I mean, first thing you see, you guys realize it's still got the Nikkei rims on there. You know, with these oversized fenders, it looks silly as hell. Yeah, I know it looks silly as hell, but uh, listen, those guys are sneak peeking over there. You guys already seen these, but these bad boys are just freaking gorgeous and... Uh, Obviously, you could tell the whole rear fender, that entire rear fender, will be filled in with these. So, we're going to get those on soon. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I picked up the car and the body, I still got, I, I still got to do like some wet sanding because the body guys, the body shop, they didn't do a 100% job. You know, it's not up to my par. But, uh, hey, listen, it's all right. I'll get it, smooth it all up. You guys see it? It's the carbon, carbon top. Dusty as hell. I need to wash the car. I actually fixed the door. That was the first thing I had to fix because the door wasn't opening. That's just how it is. But, yeah, I mean, you know, we got the Cobra seats in here with the scratch you know, any of you guys know German, you got to go with the Scotch uh, harness, quick release harness. The other pieces are back here with the red roll cage to match, to match the harness. You know, we got the quick, we got the quick release, quick release wheel. You know, take off your steering wheel, you know, that's just race car shit. But then we got the badass... AEM, AEM, uh, digital dash, you know, color digital dash. Get that started for you guys in a minute. We've got the arc control panel. So basically, you got, uh, you know, the computer, fuel, ignition, starter, wipers, headlights. I mean, that's all you really need in a race car, right? Rest of the cage. You gotta get up off that, you gotta get that tape up off the cage. The other seat. And I uh, gotta go get myself a shift knob. Cause, you know, this is how I got it on the trailer and off the trailer. But I gotta get myself uh, an official shift knob on there. Then I'm gonna do uh, diamond plated uh, floor plates. I also wanna do, right now the seats are sitting a little bit too high for my likings. So I'm gonna do. Uh, Gonna do like a lower a lower seat mount. Uh, I forgot the name of the company I'll be going with, but I've used them before in the past. As you guys can see, the whole block off, the entire block off for the fuel cell. This in the trunk. That's actually one of the baddest parts about this car. Stainless steel, custom exhaust, all the way from the cat back. I mean, no, 
all the way from the downpipes all the way back. That exhaust alone was quite some money. But here go the little treasure. The meth tank inside the trunk. This fuel tank, I spent a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of thought I put into this whole fuel system. I mean, it's very elaborate, yet, you know, still very clean, nice setup. So it's a fuel safe, fuel safe, uh, we got, uh, I think I went with a 16 gallon tank, 16 gallon tank, uh, you know, you could quickly release these bolts and get everything up, <clears throat> access inside the uh, fuel tank, you got one, two, three fuel pumps, we got the filter, filter there, and um, what's the name of this tank again? It'll come back to me probably towards the end of this video. But uh, this is a very clean setup with the hard lines. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Like, this is just show quality right here. Just go to a show and just open the trunk. Like, this is not, it's race car shit, but this is like show quality shit at the same time. We got the uh, dry cell. Uh, red top down down below and uh, yeah I mean oh excuse me guys I'm sorry forgot to open the trunk and show you guys exactly I mean the hood and show you guys exactly what 734 pounds of torque look like this is 734 pounds of torque we're not even going to talk horsepower. We're just going to talk torque. Uh, I mean, I haven't driven this thing anywhere yet, but forget about it. I know you noticed the zip tie here. This cap was blown off on a dyno, so I just got to get a new cap on there. I'm going to get a turbo blanket. I'm going to get a turbo blanket to keep the temperatures down under here because this thing can get hot quick. So nice turbo blanket quality. It's going to keep the hood temperatures down dramatically my headlights there back there got to get my headlights in like this carbon top fast Wilson intake it's a pretty unique piece you know peep the yellow valve covers to match the yellow big brakes kind of a good combination together I like that you know you open the hood and then they'll know and then people will notice the the wheels at the same time got our Borg Warner got our Borg Warner turbo in there and I did actually upgrade this is an upgraded impeller inside of here this is the billet upgraded 11 tooth impeller ball bearing that thing spins beautifully. This thing, you know, spools up nicely. Yeah, I mean, you know. All the little goodies in here. But yeah, there are there are before, you know, I could get this thing on the road. Oh, I'm show you. There's a few things that I need that the body shop just kind of neglected to give back so as you can see there is no there's no hood latches there's no hood latches I need hood latches can't go outside without hood latches I had to zip tie this thing down to get it home headlights I got my headlights but my headlight lower trims those are nowhere to be found gotta get those as you can see there's no bumper the bumper looked like someone ran across it so, they are repairing the bumper now, and they'll be shipping me up my bumper. I'm going to get these wheels off. You know, got to get the wheels off. Passenger side door. There's no lock. The body shop, once again, you took things apart, but you didn't put it back together. So, that's what I got right now. So, you know. Uh, my windows, windows, they're kind of just like flapping in the wind right now, 
flapping in the wind, but uh, I'm probably gonna do some Lexan, some Lexington, Lexan windows with the cutouts. I don't know yet. Or for now, I'm just gonna, you know, seal these up. But more, in the future, definitely gonna do some Lexan. <clears throat> what else? What else? Oh, here go my headlights. Headlights. They don't belong on the table. They belong in the car. Moving on to the trunk. Body shop. I kind of need this, you know, so that I can open the trunk. The key cylinder. I also have no, there's also no uh, handle. And there's no latch. So the trunk does not do anything besides the same thing that the door does, which is, that's it. It ain't locked. But yeah, you know, do a little bit of sealing and definitely wash because this car is filthy right now. Wash, seal up that window. But yeah, I mean, you know, that's really it. I mean, otherwise this thing is gorgeous. Oh yeah, the hood. I got to put the, the grill piece in. They did give me that back. Thank you. You know, those things only cost like 50, 60 bucks for that piece of plastic. But that's really it. Yeah, guys. So, I mean, you know, it's back, you know, and... Um, you know, I'm really excited that it's back. It was a little bit, you know, discerning at the same time when I noticed that a lot of things were, you know, a little bit MIA and just like, at this point of the game, I'm not even trying to nitpick. This car has been in Florida for two years and 10 months. Two years, 10 months it's been in Florida. And before that, boy, the story goes on and on and on. Maybe I'll tell you guys that story one day. But uh, this is a long-term project that's been going on for a long time. And this is actually the first time that this car is moving on its own power in several years, actually. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, I just really... This video was to just give you guys a quick overview. Quick overview, you know, let you know it's home and... Uh, Listen, let's go start it up. I mean, I know I promised you guys a startup, so I'll do a quick startup. My garage door is locked right now, and I'm not opening it because it's pouring outside. So uh, I'm going to do a quick startup, and I'm going to shut it down. Just give you guys, let you hear this thing. You actually hear this thing is ridiculous. It's bonkers. I got so many keys over here. And this thing sounds bananas. It's actually 
show you guys what it's like sitting in my seat. Ugh. You know, you got to climb in this thing. So you just come over here, hit the, turn the ignition, turn the key on. Then we're going to turn the computer, turn on the computer. Turn on all that fuel back there. Turn on the ignition. And just hit start. AEM, baby. Leave my key right there in the ignition. All right, guys. Well, I mean, you heard it. You heard it. Uh, it really speaks volumes for itself uh, a little deaf right now <laughs> but uh yeah man uh that thing is rowdy as hell forget about when you put it in the gear it's trying to keep 700 734 pounds of torque underneath your feet is not easy you know horsepower is just that's one thing but that amount of torque is bananas but uh Guys, in the next video, you know, definitely I'm going to get the wheels on. I'm going to wash it. I'm going to get the wheels on. Uh, I'm going to get the bumper, all those missing parts that the body part left out. I'm going to have all that on there and do like a full montage, you know, of the entire car. You know, do like a nice little still video and stuff like that with the car 100% done. Right now, it's not 100% done. Mechanically, we're good, but... uh just all the aesthetic stuff. I'm going to, you know, get that done. And I mean, it's going to look bananas. It already looked good, but it's going to look even better. So guys, you know, stick with me until the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, guys. Thanks.